Star Cave. I like this dungeon. It's got pretty music. Um, I got papers flying all over the place. <laughs> um, what Pokemon will we be seeing here? You'll probably be seeing Poliwags, Anoras, Krikatots, Chinglings, Lotads, Bonslies, Psyducks, Gulpins, Lunatones, Bronzongs, yeah, the usual. Bidoof Strength isn't too bad. You have Tackle, Crowd, Defense, Curl. You'll most likely be using Tackle the majority of the time. Uh, I would recommend setting that move, but obviously I have a busted L button, so it does me no good. This really isn't a bad dungeon. Oh, but did I mention Snover's ability? The ability that makes this place rain hell? Ah, oh, how dare you! Basically, Snover is just a hindrance in this place. You hate this thing. Your best bet is to use these orbs you get and change the weather because you're going to be taking damage from that hail. And then you're going to be taking it faster than you can regenerate it. So it's a huge handicap you have in this dungeon. It is your ultimate nightmare. You want to get rid of this Snover, but you can't because you have to have it. Because you have to get through the place. Snover does have some good power. In fact, it's level 22 and you're only level 10. I mean, you can't really complain about that. It's just the hell that ruins everything. Makes this place ultimately evil. Uh, there's a lot of Kecleon shops in this place. Uh, these Kecleon shops are a little bit different though. Uh, most of what they sell is pretty much consists of orbs. There's some fours that you are almost guaranteed to see a Kecleon shop on. There's some fours that are guaranteed you'll see a Kecleon shop on. There's a lot of Kecleon shops in this place. Uh, it doesn't hurt to explore if you have the hit points or if you use an orb to change the weather because all the items you can get help. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I really need to say. Oh yes, um, towards the later half, like this isn't even on this set of seven steps, there's a Kecleon shop, see? Everywhere. Uh, you might want to pick up an orb if you have the money. I don't know if I have the money. Yeah, I have the money. I'm going to pick up a rainy orb just in case any. Uh, there is on the far, far, far upper floors of this dungeon, uh, there is a slight chance of encountering a monster house. If I would run into one, I'd explain them then, but I'll explain monster houses the first time I encounter them. So I think that's um, pretty much all I really need to say. Do I really need to say anything else? Um, no, I don't really have to. Seven fours, then we have four more, and then four more. So you can expect that ahead of you. Without further ado, music time.
Okay, break point. Probably would be in your best interest to save right now. So, might as well do that. Continuing on. Okay, Deep Star Cave, dead end, wonderful. Okay, I hear an evil laugh, that sounds like mine, and I know it isn't me. <gasps> Bagar, Gligar. Oh, well, I can take you on, I have Snover. What? Ah, oh, be doof, you idiot! You fell for their stupid scheme! So stupid! You fell for Team Rogue's tricks! What kind of name is Team Rogue? Ah, oh, be doof, you never pull out a big wad of cash in the middle of public. That's how you get mugged. The only difference here is that they decided to lure you into some cave to not make a scene and not get caught. And then mug you. Because they wanted to mug you. For your money. Because you brought that big wad of cash out. I told you you should have spent it on this stupid hidden power. Uh-oh. Well, I'm doomed. Very doomed. Oh dear. Okay, boss battle time, and you do not have to win this one. Don't worry. However, it's not a ridiculously difficult boss battle. However, if you have any Reviver Seeds on you, if you do lose this, you're going to lose those Reviver Seeds. Because you're going to most likely take enough hits to lose your Reviver Seeds. Basically, in the end, it'll add up to you losing Reviver Seeds from fainting so many times. And basically, you want to win this battle. Even if you don't have to, you still want to win it. That way you don't lose any Reviver Seeds in the process. Take down Gligar first. Gligar has Sand Attack. Sand Attack is irritating. Hopefully you'll have a Totter Seed around like me and you can use that to your advantage. Uh, Snover is the strongest. You were alongside of him for half this dungeon, so you should know. Definitely watch out for his power. If you have to, keep throwing daughter seeds at him. If it keeps your reviver seeds in stock, that's more important. 
uh, finish him off. Shouldn't take too much effort. See, it's not horrible. 